Hi everyone, and welcome back to my channel, Learning Biology with Dr. Vanessa. In today's video, we are going to take a look at DNA or deoxyribonucleic acid. In this video, we are specifically going to look at where DNA is found, what it does, and what its role is in the body. Where is DNA located? What does it do? What is its purpose? In order to better understand DNA and what it does, we need to take a closer look at the nucleus of the cell. Our bodies are made up of approximately 37.2 trillion cells. And not all those cells are the same type of cell. There are over 200 types of cells in the body. Each cell, besides mature red blood cells, has a nucleus. And in the nucleus is where we find the DNA. Now, the nucleus of the cell, if you read any textbook definition, houses the genetic information of the cell. But what is this genetic information? This genetic information is DNA or deoxyribonucleic acid. Now let's take a closer look at what DNA looks like, what it is made up of, and then we will talk about what its purpose is. DNA or deoxyribonucleic acid is a double helical structure that contains the hereditary material in living organisms. It is made up of four chemical bases, adenine, guanine, cytosine, and thymine. In this figure, we see the key features of DNA structure. DNA is a double helix in which the adenine binds to a thymine and cytosines bind to guanine. The nucleotides consist of a nitrogenous base, a sugar, and a phosphate group. The nucleotides are bound together by hydrogen bonds. The order or the sequence of these bases is what determines what the DNA codes for. DNA can code for things such as the color of your hair, different proteins that the body has, etc. The entirety of DNA or the genome contains about 3 billion bases, which have about 20,000 genes on 23 pairs of chromosomes. DNA is a nucleic acid. Basically, the nucleic acid is composed of many nucleotides, which we just spoke about. Nucleic acids include both DNA and RNA. In my video on biology, large biological molecules, chapter five, I have a more in-depth discussion as to what nucleic acids are and the big differences between DNA and RNA. DNA is a double-stranded molecule, while RNA is single-stranded. DNA is the genetic or hereditary information that parents pass down to their offspring. This genetic information codes for everything that is found in a given organism. DNA has the ability to make copies of itself, as in DNA replication, which I talk about in detail in another video. And this ability that DNA has to make copies of itself allows for individual cells to reproduce. DNA also has the ability to direct RNA synthesis and produce RNA. Once RNA is produced, it can then direct protein synthesis, also known as gene synthesis. So to recap, DNA is the genetic information that is passed on from parents to offspring. It codes for everything that makes us who we are, proteins that we see and don't see, DNA has the ability to replicate itself in its entirety. This is used when cells are replicating. I talk much more in depth about this in my DNA replication video. DNA can also be transcribed into RNA and then translated into proteins. This is also a very specific process, and I do talk more about this in my mRNA video and what mRNA is. I go into detail on how this process takes place. DNA is a very large molecule, and as I mentioned before, it is found in the nucleus. It actually stays in the nucleus because it is so large, 
So DNA replication actually occurs within the nucleus and DNA to RNA or transcription occurs in the nucleus as well. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope that it helped you to clear up any misconceptions you may have had about DNA or just help you to better understand what DNA is. I do mention a couple other videos within this video that will help you to understand some concepts. I go into much more detail in the other videos about the nitty gritty of how they work. So that again was the DNA replication video where I talk more in detail on how DNA replicates and the mRNA video where I talk more about how DNA turns into RNA in transcription and then into protein during translation. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please make sure to leave them below. And if you like my content, please help to support me by subscribing to my channel, clicking on the little bell um, so that you get notifications and never miss out when I put out a new video. Thank you.